And this is how you back up all your files with one double click. Hello, it's Icy and I am back with some tech tutorial videos. This one is about how I set up Robocopy, uh, which is a tool that's provided to you on your Windows computer uh, in order to back up all of my streaming, video editing, all those sorts of settings after my laptop's C drive went. Luckily, most of it was on the D drive. Uh, so I was able to copy it all off, uh, but uh, I knew about Robocopy. I've known about it for years and I wasn't using it to back all those files up somewhere else. So since my laptop is back, everything is working, everything is reconfigured. I've set up Robocopy to do that job and I wanted to share it with you. So you too could use this tool that is built in in order to back up your own files. Okay, so check that you have robocopy first you want to start a command prompt this is how i open you need to get to the run command on your computer if you've got windows 10 like me you can right click on the start button and choose run uh, if you've got an older version of windows uh, pretty much actually you'll get the same thing uh, once you're there you want to type in cmd which will open the command prompt uh, and you get a window like this now to see if you've got robocopy just type robocopy and see what happens. If you get some information back, you've got Robocopy. If you don't get this back, it is possible you still have a copy of Robocopy. Copy, copy, copy. Uh, but it's not in your path file. Um, if that's the case, open up a search window, go to your C drive, type in uh, Robocopy.exe in the top corner and let it search. Now for me, it's under both uh, the System32 directory under Windows and the WOW64-bit directory as well. So both of those directories are under the Windows path, which means I can just type Robocopy here in the command window and it will run. So basically, try that first. Um, so once you've done that, you can see it says for usage type robocopy slash question mark so let's do that okay and then you get a bunch of that's be helpful let's make this tall there we go a bunch of different switches that you run the robocopy with now what i have done is read all these uh, now I use this at work occasionally or have in the past so I do am familiar with it already I'll give you in the description below what I use so what I do is I take my D drive sorry I take one specific directory under my D drive so this is the branding directory under the branding my videos branding directory these are all the files I want backed up so this is all the things like the configs of my OBS, which I'm recording this on right now, uh, all of the overlay drops, um, all of that information is all under that branding subfolder. I want all of that copied to another directory, another USB stick, uh, another hard drive uh, into the OneDrive. So it will then sync up to the cloud. So I want that stuff protected from future hard drive crashes. So what I've got, is that this is the commands that I use. So I say copy my D uses IC videos branding directory to D uses IC OneDrive streaming directory. Now that OneDrive directory, that will then automatically sync to OneDrive in the cloud. If you don't have that, uh, you could copy that to a USB stick that you leave in your computer, um, to the C drive perhaps. Uh, I can, in fact could set up multiple layers of these, uh, which I might do later on. So I can copy both to an E drive and the C drive. So I've got these files in multiple locations. Okay. So you can see the next tag I've got is slash S and you can see from here slash S is, if I scroll this over a little bit. Uh, copy subdirectories, but not the empty ones. And then we've got copy 
and then we've got a DAT. So we're going to copy and we're going to copy the data. So that's the actual file content, the attributes. So that's uh, things like the creator and stuff and the timestamp. So that's when it was created, because I do want that information as well copied. OK, the next flag I've got here is mirror. Now, what mirror means is make the two directories in the two different locations look the same. So if I delete a file out of one side, it's going to delete the file out of the other side as well. Now, I want that because, yes, I clean stuff up. I delete files out of the branding directory uh, and then I want them deleted out of the copy as well. You might not want that, in which case don't don't leave that in there. So uh, we've got the V flag, which we can scroll through here. What's that one do? What's my V flag do? Oh, I've forgotten. Can't see it. <gasps> What? Must be something important. I wouldn't have put it in here otherwise. Would I? Would I have put it in here if it wasn't important? There it is. Okay, so, uh, right, yeah, so uh, V produces a verbose output. So that actually will list all of the things that happens for me. Very good to start with. So you're testing to see what's going on. It's actually sending the information to the log. Uh, it's also this T means it's going to produce the log on the screen as well. So I can see that the thing is working, not just that it's kind of popping in the background. And I've said, make me a log file to uh, robocopy.log. So that as it does, so I can always come back in and check to make sure that it's worked or I can go later and have a, have a look. Now, the second line of this just says pause. Uh, all pause will do is just, if I run this automatically, it'll just say, here we go, please click. All right, so let's just copy this line and we'll paste it in here and then we'll run it and we'll see what happens. There we go. It's looking through all of those files going, is there anything new? Uh, and the answer is no, basically. It's all pretty much the same and it's copied all of those files to the OneDrive folder. Now, OneDrive will automatically it's not at the moment because there was no changes. Whoops, what's it doing there? OneDrive will automatically sync the data. You can actually see I changed the name of this earlier. Um, so it's automatically syncing it up uh, to OneDrive. If you've got it copied to an E drive, a D drive, I don't know how other systems work. If you've got a NAS, a network attached drive, basically as long as it's accessible with a drive letter, you can use Robocopy. Now, the next step is, you can see this is in a file called robcopy.bat. If you save this into a text file, give it a name with a .bat extension, here's a trick, don't call it robocopy.bat. That doesn't work. I don't know why. If anybody does, let me know. Um, save it as that. Uh, the pause is optional at the end. I like the pause. Uh, and then you can make a shortcut. We'll make another one. So here it is here. Ro robcopy.bat. Create a, so you want to send to desktop, which will make you a shortcut. You can see I've already got one here, but we'll make a new one. Move it into there. Right click on it and choose properties. You can run it from here. That's fine, but we're going to tidy it up so it looks nice. So let's change our icon. Uh, it says the bat file doesn't have any icons, so it's going to give us some defaults to pick. So let's pick a nice, a nice icon that reminds us of backing up. What else is in here that reminds us of backing up? Oh, to the internet. That sounds good. Uh, all right, and we're just going to give a new name. So we're just going to call it, uh, just call it uh, backup branding. We'll do. And now we've got a little icon and we can just double click that. You see the same window go through, gets to the end, says, this is what I've changed. And you can just hit the space bar, which will close it. If you want it to just run through, not have it, remove the slash T, T-E-E, -E, remove the pause at the end. It will just run and disappear and you won't need to do anything else. So I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below. Are there any other tips and tricks you want to know? Uh, I have been working 
I'm here for streaming and ESO, but I have been working in the IT industry for, <laughs> oh my God, it's like 20 years now. Holy shit. Um, so do feel free to ask questions. Um, please do, yeah, let me know what you think below. Also, please do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Uh, join us. We're very friendly here. We'd love to have you. So I will talk to you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.